Now, before starting the video, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video keys fan. Keysfan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in a simple and reliable way. You can quickly activate software like Windows and Microsoft Office using these 100% official keys, which are fully compatible with online activation. Moreover, they provide lifetime after-sales support along with 24 by 7 customer service. Right now, their software super deals are live, so don't miss out. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices with Keysfan. Simply add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG50. 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundles with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for more details. What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. In this video, I'll be setting up and testing out WinLater Omad on a Mali GPU device. The phone I'm using right now is the Infinix Note 50X which is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 Ultimate with a Mali G615, two-core GPU. And this here is the WinLater OMOD, which I already covered in a recent video. Here, OMOD stands for Optimized Module, a forked version that's also quite similar to the Frost version we've seen. Anyway, I'll close everything now. Let's open WinLater. Go to Settings, and here I'm leaving everything at default. Set box 64 version to 0.3.4 and preset to intermediate. That's it. As usual, create a new container and set the screen resolution lower for better performance. Here, the graphics driver is set to Vortec, which is universal for all devices. Vulkan is set to 1.3 based on the device's exposed extensions. It all depends on your device's GPU support. Set the DXVK version to 1.10.3 and these are the recommended settings. Now go to Advanced. Set the Windows version to Windows 7 or 10. In Affinity, enable all CPU cores and also set startup selection to aggressive. Now let's load. Let's first check out Direct3D. All right, it's working. You can also see the Mali GPU name, driver version, all running on the Vortec driver. We're almost getting 300 plus FPS, that's pretty cool. Let's also check out other 3D tests like CubeMap, and it's working perfectly fine. All right, let's install some drivers. Install both the NVIDIA PhysX driver and Visual C++ libraries. And that's it. Now let's check out the GPU info. As you can see, this phone's GPU is configured really well with the Vulkan driver and also supports OpenGL with GL version 4.6 and over with 276 GL extensions. Also, make sure both Vulkan and GL are properly configured with the Mali GPU, or else you'll get errors or black screen issues. All right, guys, now it's time for the test. In this video, I'm going to test GTA 4, which we already tried in our recent video like a couple of weeks ago, but it failed to load. I mean, it loaded, but with a blank screen on this Mali GPU. Anyway, I'll add it to the container shortcut. Here we go, now let's go to its settings. Resolution is set to 600p, Vortec driver is selected, and these are the settings. Let's load it. All right, it's loaded. And finally, it's fixed, guys. That common issue on newer Mali GPUs, where you get a blank screen with only sound, is now finally fixed. Let's load into the game. Oh, looks like the characters are missing over here. Okay, and okay, and there we go. But still, it looks quite bad. Textures aren't loading properly, and honestly, it looks terrible. It might perform better on other Mali GPUs like the Mali G68 or G57, which are more optimized GPU. But still, it looks better than before. Maybe changing the DXVK version can fix it. If you're facing similar graphical issues, try setting DXVK to 1.5.5 or 1.7.3 version. That might help. But don't expect quality performance like on Snapdragon Adreno GPUs. All right, it looks a bit better now. If you have a Mali G57 or G68, it should work fine for you. I'll test those soon as well. As you can see, it looks okay on this device. Like, to be honest, the latest Mali GPUs still need more optimization and fixes. Hopefully, it will be fixed soon. And this is just the beginning. Also, I'll soon test GTA 5 on this version to see how well it can actually perform. 
So anyway, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked and enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.